Hello horse lovers all over the world, here we are again. Today we're going to talk about lateral flexion. We did yielding for hindquarters on, in two separate ways, like steady and rhythmic pressure. Um, so we started the communication, but now we're going to see can we work on some lateral flexion and for example, uh, what's that important for? It's um, to keep your horse supple, but it's mostly for riding. Uh, is there a brace on his neck? Is he supple in his neck? Can he give to a yield? And um, at the end of the road, you want to have a one range stop maybe. And when you want to use a one range stop later on, you need some lateral flexion. So I don't need my stick. So throw that one away and we start by getting to this position, he's okay with that and then I'm going to ask him to yield on a feel, there he comes. It's not the first time I did it with him but that's how it is. So that was super, so let's try again. So I'm going to ask on the hair. Now he's not coming, he's like, oh, I'm not sure. I'm waiting, there he comes, super. So, if your horse not yielding for this, just build up in little phases, like on the hair, the skin, the muscle, the bone, yeah? Um, if he does this, you go to the other side. So, I'm not going to the other side, because then we have to change the horse, but what I can show you, no, I go to the other side, so, oh. I can yield, now you can see me, can you see me? Yes you can. Now I can yield to this side, I do the same as on that side, I'm just waiting. See this is a little harder for him, look at him, look at this. Now he's yielding, you can't see, because I'm not standing right for the camera, so I'm gonna ask him to come over this way, super. So I'm gonna ask him, see there he's walking again, I say don't, don't walk. Now I'm asking the yield, and there he comes. Yeah. And a lot of times when they yield, they also put their nose toward you. So that, this is kind of the easy way, but if that works really well on both sides, you can do it the other way around. So you can if you yield to this side, it's pretty easy because the flexing towards you and maybe you think I get a treat or something. But to make it, if, if that goes right on both sides, then you can say, okay, maybe I can do it the harder way. So I can flex him, not towards me, yeah, because I can stand on this side, take the rope and ask if he can flex towards me. There he comes. So that, that's easy. That's the easy way. Uh, but now I'm going to see, can I, and I'm going to put my rope on his back so it's not in my way. Um, can I flex him the other way? So now I'm going to ask him to flex away from me. That's one, that's two, uh, that's perfect. Yeah. Um, I know he's smelling the rope, that's perfect. And this is more like when you're in the saddle, because when you're in the saddle, they're not flexing towards you. You're in the saddle and they flex maybe to your leg, but not uh, to watch your whole body. So now I'm going to ask again, can you flex that way? So now he thinks he has to go backwards. I'm just staying soft, staying soft. This is perfect. So um, it's, it's not easy. Sometimes it's pretty hard. They start walking backwards. And if they start walking backwards, that's no problem. That they are searching for an answer. Um, and you go with them until they flex. And when they flex, you say that's right. And this is a nice start for um, the one rain stop later on in riding. Um, yeah, well now you have the, the, the lateral flexion both ways. What you can do later on, I'm, I'm going to show you. You can say, okay, um, or let me do this side so you can see the rope. So I can ask for the flexion. Yeah, put this on him. So if you ask the flexion, let's try again. OK, 
Can you flex away from me? Can you flex away from me? Can you flex away from me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then you can put the rope behind his butt and then you can ask him so now I'm standing in front of him can you yield for the rope and can you think through this maneuver? Yes, he can. So that's a really nice maneuver. Yeah? If you do the last one, then you can come in a pickle because if you ask him to flex and he starts turning, so you have to divide this, this exercise in two, just the flexion or the flexion and the moving. I hope that's all clear. I think it's clear, but we'll find out. This is challenge number nine. Have fun with it.